Hello YouTube, this is the first video in a Sprite Kit game series. Basically, Sprite Kit is Apple's new game um, engine. We're going to go ahead and get started creating a game, Sprite game project. Call it first Sprite Kit. And this series basically you're just going to be covering Sprite Kit. If you don't know Objective-C already, you should um, go and look at some other videos till I get a series up. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that side panel and make it only portrait mode. And Apple gives you some a sample scene basically, and this creates a rocket that um, spins when the screen's tapped and it draws Hello World to the screen at the center. And so if we give that a run, not very fancy, but it works. Um, okay, so basically the code that they have here, I'll just describe it a little bit. They they have a function that initiates when the view is created and they set the background color to blue, a shade of blue, using RGB. They create a label node called my label with the font chalk duster. They give it a text value of hello world, a font size of 30, and they center the position on the screen. Um, they get the middle x and y value of the frame rectangle. Um, and then they add the child to the view. Or they add the node to the view. The label node. And then down here they have a text, a touches begin function that runs every time um, there's a touch. And for all the touches they get the location, they add a sprite at that, they add a sprite node at that location with the name uh, space, with the image spaceship. And then they rotate that um, space, that image continuously uh, forever. And then they add that to the view. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of these files because we want to start over. We don't want to use their code at all um, so that you know how to make your own from scratch. And uh, add a new file and make it an Objective-C class. Give it a name, game view. Yeah, okay. Um, so we have our header file and our implementation file. And here's our view controller. Basically, this just creates the view and the scene which let us use Sprite Kit. Um, we have to change two things though. This references the my scene class that we just deleted, so we have to change that in game. We have to change that to game view. Um, and yeah, so here's where they say to show the FPS on the screen. So if you didn't want to show the FPS, you could say no. And then there, it just creates a scene within the view that lets you that you're able to draw to. And then our game view class is a is a um, scene object, basically. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Create a void function that's called um, did move to view, which runs automatically, or which gets called automatically when the view loads, when the screen moves to the view. So when our app, basically, when our app opens, and then we're going to uh, create an interface block here with with a property um, that will determine whether the um, page has been initial whether the view has been initialized yet so that we can run some code once um, before anything else has happened all right so we created that property it'll be a boolean it has a default value of no so we say if the class initialized is equal to no basically or is non-existent you can just put a print or an exclamation point before it to say no if it's not true if it's false um, and then we're gonna do some stuff inside there in a minute and we are going to set the initialized boolean variable to yes so now we know that if initialized equals yes, then the view has been initialized. Alright, so we're going to create a function. Uh, it won't return anything, so void, and it's going to be called create rect. It's going to create a, basically we're going to create a blue rectangle at a given coordinate. No parameters. Um, so we'll create an sk sprite node object, or type call it node and then we'll um, create us we'll use this sprite node with color 
function or method to create that node. It'll be a square node with uh, the SK color, orange color. U SK color is basically the same as UI color. It just has a number of, it has the same properties and methods. And then we're going to create a size with CG size make, and it'll be 50 by 50 pixels. Node.name. The name's going to be first node or first rect. And then we're going to give it a position. And that'll be a CG point make. If you don't know Xcode at this point, if you don't know Objective C, you should go look at some other videos because this isn't very going to be very helpful at all if you don't. Um, but I'll have some up shortly. Okay, so now we need to add the node to the, s to the screen using the method add child and the variable node. So if we give that a run, well actually here, this is this is the node, it's the sp it's a sprite node, um, basically a sprite node, it's just an uh, image node. Um, and it has a name, first rect, and a position 400, 200, and it's been added to the scene. Alright, so we're going to run that. And nothing happens. Why is that? Because the create rect method was never called. So, where we have this do stuff line, we're going to call the create rect method with self create rect. Alright, still nothing. Why is that? Well, our point is off the screen, so we'll put it at 200, 200 and see what that looks like. Alright. Well, that's nice, but it's not centered. It's not. It doesn't look very good, so we're going to center it using self.frame.size, which is the size of the scene, and divide it by 2. We'll take the width of it and divide it by 2. Same with the height. So this puts the center of the rectangle we made at the center of the frame, which or at the center of the screen. So let's give that a run. Cool. So now we have a centered rectangle. And then the last thing we're going to do is make it so that we can add multiple rectangles uh, efficiently. So to do that, we're going to make it so that we can um, specify the size of the rectangle with a parameter, a CG size parameter. Uh, it'll be a size variable with casted type CG size. And the problem with this is that size can't, you can't make, we don't want to reuse the variable name size, which is already being used there, so we'll call it param size. And then we'll pass that parameter. We'll create a size of 50 by 50. Okay, and we got an error here. Okay, so we didn't cast this correctly. You have to have parentheses around something when you cast it around a type. I'm dumb and I forgot them. Alright, so now it should cast the size. The only thing is, um, we're going to make this 10 by 10. The only thing is, you're not going to be able to see them because they'll, they'll both be blue, so they'll be there, but one will be on top of the other, so we're going to give them a color. We're going to pass a color parameter too, so we can pick the color of each rectangle. So, we'll make an SK color parameter called param color. And we'll replace that with param color. And now we have to tell, we have to pass per, uh, SK colors up here. So for the first one we'll do orange, and for the second one we'll do blue. SK color, orange color. SK color, blue color. I love how Xcode auto corrects or auto fills in those brackets. Super nice. Alright, so we should have an orange rectangle 50 by 50 and a blue rectangle 10 by 10. So let's give that a run. They should both be centered. Ah, yes, beautiful. 
All right. Well, that's about it for this video. Um, so basically, we just created a rectangle and centered it on the screen, and then we made two of them efficiently. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.